hello everyone in this video we are going to talk about this problem from CSIRNet 2018 December physical science paper so the problem is very easy but uh, let's uh, do this the polynomial fx equal to 1 plus 5x plus 3x square is given and the legendary polynomials are given p0x p1x and p2x suppose we write the function the polynomial fx as a sum of as a linear sum which is called linear combination also as a linear sum summation c and p n x so we want to express f x in terms of p0 p1 p2 so that the coefficients are only constants we cannot multiply any power of x or anything this problem is really easy and uh, therefore we are not going to spend too much time on this so let's start solving this so first f x is given let's write f x fx is 1 plus 5x plus 3x square so we have to express this as a sum which is cn p n x but the p n x is all these are given p0 p1 and p2 but we don't know c0 c1 and c2 so this is c0 p0 x p0 x is you see given to be 1 plus c1 plus uh, times p1 x which is nothing but x plus c2 times p2 x which is nothing but half 3 x square minus 1 and this should be equal to 1 plus 5 x plus 3 x square so we want to compute c0 only now how to find c0 so to find c0 we can compare the constant terms on both the sides so on the right side the constant term is only one and on the left side on the left side so right side we will write it here on the right side constant term is only one so we'll compare this with the constant term on the left side so on the left side the constant term is first thing is c0 c0 times one is c0 this term has no constant term but this has one constant term which is so plus c2 times half times minus 1 so we see that we can calculate c0 once we know c2 but to know c2 we see that this term involves x square so we will compare the coefficient of x square on both the sides so on the right hand side the coefficient of x square is 3 this must be equal to coefficient of x square from the from the left so which is nothing but c2 half times 3 so this gives us c2 equal to 2 so we put this value here then we get c0 equal to c2 equal to 2 so c0 minus 1 equal to 1 this gives us c0 equal to 2 so if we go to the problem we see that the third option is correct so c0 the value of c0 is exactly equal to 2 